Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Welcome back to another episode. I saw I was being so silent there. Wasn't sure if anything was going to pop up. Of course, if you, not a new playthrough, but speeding along through things. We just talked to Rost, and now we're heading on through for our destiny. Don't really know what else to say. Besides, if you're enjoying the playthrough very much, Please say something in the comment section. Low and quiet does it. Okay, you're okay. They're scanning for me. More like they're looking at you. Yes. 
missing that at all. say I wonder what's taking up all the room in my inventory, but I already know it's Richwood. Louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. It'll never replace home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What about you? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Answers. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. The center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe.
I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Adeline. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. This time is no different. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. I'll track you down. May all mother bless you, Eloy. I will forever track you down. And you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. It's a sad touch and scene. Turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. I've always liked you too, sir, as a character. Yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? So I'm going to zoom through all the town. Get everything that I need. I want to see something. Especially since I might not come back here again. Remember that bird got drunk and danced to make it? Fifty metal shards. I believe that's enough. No, you're already level two. Level one.
Teresa Jezza Karst. We'll meet Karst and we'll meet Aaron again. Did you see those cards you walk past? May all mother forget them and all their worthless deeds. Listen carefully now, but you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided, a world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them, feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, plenty. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins. But they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. Then, the Faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still. Frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king. And their minds became as wild as beasts. The Faithless abandoned their cities. Forced to wander the world without the care of the machine. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the Faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Huh. <laughs> nice. Listen the carefully now. Charge. Get down you? from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, Listen not supposed to go now. climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Listen carefully now. Get down You'll from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I'm It's you, isn't it? Over here.
I have something for you. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside? Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Dr. 